To graph more general polynomial functions, we will need to know the graphs of the function ax to the power n, where a is not zero and n is a positive integer. Because this function is formed by multiplying x to the power n by a, to get the graph of f of x equal a times x to the power n, we'll take the graph of y equal uh, x to the power n and will stretch or compress this graph if a is positive and we stretch or compress this graph and reflect about the x-axis if a is negative. So let's look at the examples. The first function is 3 times x to the power 4. So we'll start with the function y equals x to the power 4 and then we multiply x to the power 4 by 3 and that means that we'll have to geometrically stretch the graph three times. So to graph it, we'll, we'll um, graph first the function x to the fourth, points negative 1, 1, point zero, zero, and point one, 1, are on this graph. For negative 2, the value will be negative, uh, the value is going to be positive 16 outside of the picture. So we'll graph this function. This is the graph of x to the fourth. Now to stretch this graph three times vertically, we'll have to multiply y coordinate of every point on the graph of the basic function by three. So point zero zero will stay where it was. Point negative one one, if y is multiplied by three, will end up with the point negative one and three. And point one one is going to be transformed to the point one and three. And the graph is going to be stretched. This is the graph of 3 times x to the fourth. Now for the uh, function negative 2x to the fifth, we'll start with the graph of the function, basic function, which is here x to the fifth, and then we'll stretch it two times, so we'll end up with y equal 2x to the fifth, and then we'll reflect it uh, about the x-axis to get the negative 2x to the fifth. So this is the vertical stretch and the other transformation is reflection about x-axis. So let's start with x to the fifth point negative 1, negative 1 will be on a graph, 0, 0, and point 1, 1. For x equal negative 2, value is going to be negative 32, way below what is available here. So the graph looks like the graph of the cube function. This is y equals x to the fifth. Now we'll stretch this graph two times. So every y coordinate is multiplied by 2 and therefore we'll have the graph that is stretched and this is the graph of y equals 2x to the fifth. And now we'll reflect this graph about the x-axis, so the point negative 1, negative 2 will reflect to be point negative 1, 2. 0, 0 stay where it was and the point 1 and 2 becomes the point 1 and negative 2 and the graph is going to be like this reflected x to the fifth and this is going to be y equals negative 2x to the fifth.